each thing Larry manipulated them into a direction he had in mind. One, he got them to help him create an income for him via GoDaddy domain sales. Two, he tricked them into paying him for repairs or transgressions after demanding all be known and confessed to the group. Three, he began sexually controlling them. So back to the story. Isabella and Daniel went to study abroad for a year. Lucky them. However, Larry kept a finger on them by having them Skype call him and coach them through sex on cam. While he watched, what a swell guy. Now, Larry began recruiting. Santos Rosario introduces his sisters to Larry from off campus. Yulitsa was a student at Columbia, and the other sister of Santos, Felicia, was a Harvard graduate doing a medical residency in Los Angeles. Larry convinced Felicia to ditch her residency and come live in New York. He convinces her that she's also a target of the widespread conspiracy after him. Once in New York, he beds her, another person under his control. He would at times call Felicia his wife and also Isabella too. Alrighty then. The amount of delusion is palpable now. Claudia was now back at school on campus and Daniel stayed to live at the New York apartment with Larry. Things got weirder as Larry got bolder. Locks and handles were removed from all doors to eliminate privacy. Those parents who questioned their kids' involvement with Larry were told by the kids he's helping, not hurting us. Parents were more afraid of not alienating their kids at this point. As I mentioned earlier, a common trick played by cults and religions. Meanwhile, Larry convinced Claudia that her mother never loved her. Next, Larry got the kids to get money from their parents for perceived damages owed. Claudia, Isabella, Elitza and Felicia were put to work on his stepfather's house in North Carolina. None of that was in their lesson plans, I bet.